stay tuned for a giveaway. All right, boys, I have a bit of a special one for you guys today. There have been a lot of videos and even Steam guides made over the years attempting to showcase all of the skin changes made in the Chinese version of CS, but none of them that I've seen have showcased all 50 of these changes. I did my absolute best to compile a list of every single skin change in the Perfect World version of the game, and not only am I going to just show you them, I was actually lucky enough to get my hands on a Chinese Steam account, so I'm going to show you all of them in first person on an inspect server so you can see exactly how they look in game. If you guys enjoy this video and want to see more, drop a like and I'll make a similar video showcasing all of the changes made to stickers, pins, and patches. Also, for some reason YouTube has restricted my ability to use chapters, so if you're looking for a certain category of weapon, make sure to check out the timestamps in the description. Lastly, every skin that I inspect will be the lowest float version of it registered on CS Float unless otherwise specified. And every pattern based skin will have the pattern that I inspected listed on screen. Let's get into it. First up we have the gloves. As you guys are probably aware, there are quite a few restrictions on certain visual things in China. Things like images of skulls, blood, various symbols, and even certain language scripts are received poorly. That's why a lot of these skins are censored. That being said, as you can see on the global version of the Bloodhound gloves, the top of the hand features the skull of a Bloodhound, which was completely redesigned in the Chinese version of CS2 as a paw. I'm not gonna lie, I think I might actually like the Chinese version of these more. What do you guys think? The only other pair of gloves in the game that received a change in the Chinese version of CS are the Cobalt Skulls hand wraps. As you're probably aware, the global version of these contain skulls all over the gloves, and the Chinese version of CS2 simply changed all of the skulls to gas masks, which you'll end up seeing is a common theme throughout a lot of these skin changes. What do you think about this change? Next up, we have the pistols, and the first ones on the list are the Dual Berettas Cartel. As you're probably aware if you're a longtime CS player, all of the cartel skins feature skulls, and the Dual Berettas are no different. If you look very closely on the global version of the skin, there's a skull under the left thumb. On the Chinese version, that skull and the rest of the skulls on the weapon are completely gone. One other change that's only visible if you inspect it on the main menu is the cast on the top of the weapon. The global version features a skeleton in a casket, and the Chinese version features a closed casket that says RIP on it. That change is much easier to see in this screenshot. The next change is on the 5-7 scrawl. As you can see on the global version of the skin, there's a relatively large skull present on the top right of the weapon just under the thumb. In the Chinese version, however, that skull is instead changed to look like a man's head with tape covering his mouth. Here's what it looks like in game without the thumb covering it up. Next up we have the Glock 18 catacombs. Much like the hand wraps cobalt skulls, the global version of this skin features a bunch of skulls throughout the design. On the Chinese version, however, those skulls are changed to gas masks. The same thing is true for the Glock 18 Nuclear Garden as well. The Chinese version of the skin changes the skulls that are present on the global version to gas masks. I personally love the design of the Chinese version of this skin because I think the gas masks actually fit the nuclear theme more than the skulls do. Next up is the Glock 18 Offworld. This is one of the few skins on the list that the design change doesn't occur until higher wares. The one that we're looking at here is the highest float one in existence, and as you can see on the global version of the skin, there's a skull scratched into the barrel. On the Chinese version, however, they just got rid of the skull altogether and put a few scratches in its place. Next up is the P250 Cartel. As you can see on the global version of the skin, there's a large skull on the handle of the weapon. The Chinese version, however, changes the skull to an oval shape with an eye in the center of it. The design is pretty cool and kind of reminds me of the Illuminati. Like many of the other skins on this list, the P250 Contamination is another pattern-based skin with skulls on it in the global version of the game. And much like some of the other skin changes, this one too changes the skulls to gas masks. Next up we have the P250 Drought. Instead of human skulls, the global version of the skin features animal skulls. I think the designers of the Perfect World skins realized it probably wouldn't make much sense to continue the gas mask theme on animal skulls, so instead of changing them, they actually just completely got rid of them. If you look super closely, you can still see the outline of the skull, and you can also see remnants of the teeth. The P250 Muertos is another one that features a human skull on it. As you can see on on the left of the barrel, there is a skull in the center of a few circles. On the Chinese version of the skin, they redesigned the skull to look more like a person wearing sunglasses. This change is much easier to see on a close-up of the skin. The P250 Wingshot is another example of a skin with a skull on it in the global version of the game. As you can see on the handle, there is a very detailed skull. In the Chinese version, however, they changed the skull to a masked man which kind of reminds me of Bane from Batman or Thanos. The R8 Crazy 8 is one that's a little bit difficult to see. In the global version of the game, there is a tiny 
tiny white skull on the center of the barrel, and in the Chinese version, they simply change it to a white gas mask. This is mirrored on both sides, and it's easier to see on the menu inspect. The R8 Skull Crusher is another one where the design change is quite small and hard to see. If you look closely on the hammer of the weapon, the global version of the game features a mini skull that smacks against the barrel every time it shoots, hence the name Skull Crusher. This skull is changed to what looks to be a white bullseye on the Chinese version of the skin. It's also much easier to see on the menu inspect. The Tech 9 Toxic is another one that follows a similar theme to a bunch we've seen so far. The skulls that are present on the global version of the weapon become gas masks on the Chinese version. Much like the Nuclear Garden, I actually think the gas masks fit very well here. Next up is the USPS Cortex. As you can see on the handle of the weapon in the global version, there is a very obvious skull with brain matter coming from it. If we take a look at the Chinese version, they seem to have made the facial structure a bit more rounded and changed the mouth to X's. I'm honestly quite confused about this one because it still looks like a skull to me. Leave your thoughts in the comments. The final pistol and one of the most drastic changes on the entire list is the USPS Kill Confirmed. The global version of the weapon features a skull with bullets for fangs and blood on the handle and tip of the suppressor. The Chinese version completely changes the design of the skull to what looks more like a robot or a transformer and completely gets rid of the teeth. The Chinese design also completely removes the blood splatter by changing the red to blue. Here's a close up. Today's sponsor, GamerPay, wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 Fade, for example. Currently, the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee, and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Now let's move on to the SMGs. The first one is the MAC-10 Curse. The global version of this skin features a zombie-like creature with a brain sticking out and very prominent teeth. The Chinese version of this skin completely mummifies the head, covering up everything but the eyes. The artwork is largely covered up by the hand in first person, so here's a better look at it. Next up is the MAC-10 Nuclear Garden. Much like the Glock 18 version of this skin, the global version features skulls all over which are completely redesigned as gas masks in the Chinese version. This skin looks amazing in my opinion. Next up, and one that's quite a bit different than the rest, is the MAC-10 Propaganda. If you recall, at the start of the video, I said one of the things that's received poorly in China is certain language scripts. This skin is a prime example because the Chinese version of the skin completely removes all of the Russian text that is present on the global version. If you look closely, you can see the writing is removed from both the body and the handle of the weapon, and that's because China is adamant that there should be no propaganda. Next up is the MAC-10 Last Dive. If you've seen any other Chinese skin change videos or guides, you might already already know that the last dive is one that slipped under the radar for a while. Only some of the 1000 patterns feature this skull, so for a while they actually never changed the design. But in the making of this video, I found that they eventually did get around to it, and as you can see, the skull present seems to be a lot more personified, which I assume was designed to pass as a human head rather than a skull. The MP7 Cirrus only has a slight change from the global to the Chinese version. If you take a look at the top of the body on the global version, you can see a small skull design. They completely removed this on the Chinese version of the skin. The change made to the MP7 skulls is a lot like that of the hand wraps cobalt skulls. All of the little skulls that are featured on the global version of the skin were simply redesigned as gas masks on the perfect world version. The P90 Grim is another one where, you guessed it, the skulls present on the global version were made into gas masks on the Chinese version. This redesign makes a lot less sense than some of the other ones because the name Grim is meant to be the Grim Reaper, and everyone knows that the Grim Reaper doesn't wear a gas mask. That being said, the skin still looks quite visually appealing after the change. The P90 Shallow Grave is another one that's a bit confusing to me. There is a very prominent white skull on the stock of the weapon in the global version of the game, but on the Chinese version of the skin, the skull is totally redesigned as what looks to be some sort of buffalo or minotaur-like creature. I guess since minotaurs are known for devouring humans, it sort of fits the Shallow Grave theme. Much like the Glock 18 off-world, the change made to the P90 off-world is quite difficult to see. You can only see it in higher wares, in this case this is the highest float one in existence. But even still, you can only see the skull design that's featured on the top of the weapon in first person when you're reloading. On the global version of the skin, there's a skull and crossbones which they simply changed to a gas mask on the Chinese version of it. It's much easier to see while inspecting it on the menu. The UMP bone pile is a very obvious one. As you can see on the global version of the skin, there's a very prominent pile of skulls. The Chinese version of the skin changes all of the skulls to gas masks. I actually think the cartoony style artwork of the gas masks looks way cooler than the skulls. The UMP metal flowers is one that you have to look 
look closely at to see the change. On the global version of the skin, there are a load of little skulls placed in between the flowers on the weapon. The Chinese version of the skin changes all of the skulls to scorpions, which looks kinda sick. I honestly think I'm just glad it wasn't gas masks again. Next up, we have the UMP Primal Saber. If you take a look at the global version of the Primal Saber, you can see a very clear saber tooth tiger skull on the body of the weapon. The Chinese version completely changes this skull to an animalistic head, which resembles that of a saber tooth tiger much more. I think the artist who designed this one really understood the assignment. The Chinese version of the skin does a much better job capturing the essence of the name Primal Saber, in my opinion. Now let's move on to the shotguns. The Nova Rising Skull is the first shotgun on the list, and funnily enough, you actually can't see the design change in first person. If you take a look at the global version of the skin, there's a massive skull on the stock of the weapon. They completely redesigned this as a man with a face covering and an eye patch on the Chinese version of the skin. The Sawed Off Apocalypto is one where they had to make quite a few changes to the skin to fit the guidelines. On the global version of the skin, there's a lot of bones protruding from the zombie hand, as well as a lot of blood coming from it. All of the blood and bones were completely removed, and they even reconnected the broken fingers to make it less gruesome. Next up is the Sawed Off Yorick. If you take a look at the global version of the Yorick, you can tell that there's a very prominent skull on the center of the skin. The Chinese version of the skin simply changes the skull to what looks like a Venetian mask. I honestly like the Chinese version more. The XM1014 bone pile is very similar to a lot of the other skins on this list. All of the skulls present in the global version of the skin are simply changed to gas masks on the Chinese version. This one is almost one to one with the Tech 9 Toxic. Next up, we have an honorable mention, which is the XM1014 XOXO. This is a skin that I saw a lot of conflicting information about while doing research for this video. Firstly, this is a pattern based skin where the skulls are only present in a select few of the patterns. The pattern that we're looking at right now has the most visible skull of all the patterns, and as you can see on the Chinese version, it looks the exact same. I found a ton of information online saying that the skulls were removed and even found this screenshot displaying that. I'm honestly not entirely sure what happened, but as of right now, this skull is completely visible in the perfect world version of the game. Now let's move on to the rifles. First up, we have the AK-47 Cartel. Much like the other Cartel skins, the AK Cartel completely removes the skulls present on the body of the skin. This version, however, seamlessly integrates the removal of the skulls into the metal engravings of the weapon, making it look like this was the original version all along. Next up is the AUG Plague. The change made to the plague is honestly really hard to notice. If you look super closely at the global version of the skin, you can see a tiny skull in the center of the body of the moth. The Chinese version of the skin simply removes the mouth and nose of the skull, which I guess makes it look slightly less like a skull? I don't know, this one is confusing to me. Next up is the Op Acheron. This is another one of the skins where they redesigned all of the skulls present on the global version to gas masks on the Chinese version. Are you sick of gas masks yet? Next up, we have the Op Exoskeleton. This is probably one of the most well-known changes in the Chinese version of the game. The skull of the creature on the center of the skin in the global version is changed on the Chinese version pretty drastically. I'm honestly not even sure if that's supposed to be an animal or a gas mask, but I honestly think both versions of the skin look terrible. The Op Worm God is next. As you can see on the global version of the skin, there's a massive skull on the stock of the weapon. They redesigned the skull as a gas mask in the Chinese version of the game, and I honestly think it looks pretty sick. It looks like the same exact art style as the bone pile from earlier. I'm a fan. Next up, we have the Famas Macabre. This might actually be my favorite change on the whole list. The global version of the skin features many skulls all throughout. The Chinese version of the skin, however, changes all of the skulls to spiders, which I actually think adds a lot to it. Macabre means disturbing, and I know there are some people out there who are way more disturbed by spiders than skulls. Next up is the Famas Sticks. The global version of this skin features skulls all over like many others on this list. And much like those, they again redesigned the skulls as gas masks for the Chinese version of the game. Next is the Galil Chatterbox. The Chatterbox is a classic skin because it was one of the first examples of a skin design incorporating the functionality of the weapon. The skull on the global version of the skin is known to open and close its mouth as the user shoots the gun in game. This was luckily preserved on the Chinese version of the skin where the mouth of the robot head they replaced the skull with still functions the same way while shooting. Alright, I know you've probably been ready for me to say this for a while, but next up in the final skin that features skulls changed to gas masks is the Galil Cold Fusion. Much like a bunch of the other skins on this list, the global version of the skin features skulls all over which were redesigned as gas masks on the Chinese version of the skin. Honestly though, do you guys prefer the skulls or the gas masks? Next up in one of the most well-known changes on the list is the M4A4 Desolate Space. The global version of this skin features a very prominent astronaut with a skull as the face. I've actually never been a fan of this skin because I think the design is pretty terrible, so I was actually relieved to see the change they made to the Chinese version of the skin. Instead of changing out the skull for a gas mask, they just closed the helmet of the 
spacesuit. I think this version of the skin looks so much better than the global version. This week, I'm giving away a minimal wear M4A4 in living color. To enter, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite Chinese skin change is. I think mine honestly might be the desolate space. I think it looks way better with the helmet visor down. The next M4A4 we have on the list is the Hellfire. If you take a look at the stock of the weapon while inspecting it on the global version of the game, you can see that the skin features a bunch of little skulls in the fire. Those skulls are redesigned in the Chinese version of the game as mini devils, which don't even look that bad. I'm honestly not sure which one I like more. Next up, we have the M4A4 in living color. This is another extremely unique one. Firstly, on the global version of the skin, you can see a little Grim Reaper present at the top of the body. The face of this creature is changed in the Chinese version to a smiley face. On top of this small change, the Chinese version of the skin heavily amplifies the holographic or pearlescent effect of the colors on the skin. This is much easier to see while inspecting it and moving it around on the menu. Do you think this change was deliberate? Next up is the SG553 Bleached. Much like the P250 Drought from earlier, the global version of the skin features animal skulls all over the body. These skulls are washed away almost completely on the Chinese version of the skin. The 50th and final change of the entire video is the SG553 Heavy Metal. If you take a look at the spine of the skin in the global version of the game, you can see a skull looking back at the player. This skull was redesigned in the Chinese version of the game to look more like a face. It honestly kind of reminds me of the Green Goblin. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.